Hello everyone, this is Bethany from Madeline Jean Antiques and Restoration. In this tutorial, I'm gonna talk about stripping a finish off furniture. Now, I normally don't like to strip finishes off furniture. Number one, it's so time consuming. And number two, it's really messy. And it can be really stinky, depending on the product that you use. So if I have to use a stripper, I use this product called Citrus Sip. Not Citrus Sip. That sounds like a drink. It's um, Citra Strip. Strip. Um, it's this stuff. It is smelly in a good way. Um, it smells like oranges. It's quite delightful, actually. Um, it's not very harsh. Right here on here, it says no harsh fumes, which is true. I can use it in my house when my kids are home and while my dog's running in and out of my workspace, and it's no big deal. The only thing, they changed the formula. I don't know why this company changed the formula, and all of us people that refinish furniture, we don't like the new formula. Hello, whoever makes this citrus strip, we don't like it. Anyways, the new formula is, I don't know, it's just stickier. It doesn't seem to work as well as their old formula. Oh well. So I tried something new by one of my fellow friends over on Instagram. Um, I applied this to a board that I tried to sand. I tried to sand it. I got down to 80 grit and the finish still wasn't coming off. So I knew at that point I had to use this. So I put this on it and then I noticed even leaving it on probably 12 hours, it really wasn't pulling the finish off. And then someone suggested to me over on Instagram, wrap saran wrap around it. What? Who would have thought? So I went into my kitchen, got myself some cling wrap, saran wrap. I put it around the board. It has now been soaking in this stuff for over 24 hours with the saran wrap on it. I guess what it's supposed to do is just keep um, all the chemicals working, eating at that finish, even kind of like warming it up, and hopefully it helps. So, we're, I'm just doing a video here. I'm gonna see if this works or not, putting saran wrap over the citrus strip and see if it worked even better. So, let's go look at my board and see how well it worked. What's this gooey mess? Well, I tried sanding off this thick finish off this board this morning and sanding it wasn't really working, even when I was down to 80 grit. So I had to end up using some citrus strip, which is not my favorite product to use, but I had to. And now it's starting to lift it off. You see that? That's what I wanna see. Biscuit, don't. <laughs> Stay away, little boy. So anyways, now I gotta get the fun part. I gotta scrape some of this off and see if it'll lift a little bit. So I'm gonna try and capture. Oh, there we go. That's what I want. That's the old finish coming off right there. I need to get down to that wood. So gross. It looks like bacon grease. Look at that. Look at that. Woo! Okay, did you guys just watch that minute video that I just inserted there? That was after I applied the citrus set. I can't say that word. Citrus, citrus strip, citrus strip. Um, when I applied that, now I know where my son gets his um, flubbering up words from, it's from me. Um, citrus strip, when I applied it before, I let it sit for a few hours and you can just see, and that was without the saran wrap and then I was trying to remove it with a scraper and it was, it was lifting off a little bit but I could tell I was gonna have to do multiple coats. So, behind me, you can see the board, I applied another layer of the citrus strip. Oh, see, now I can say, you just gotta say it really fast. Um, and I always use a chip brush, a cheap chip brush when I apply this stripper because usually you have to end up pitching these brushes. You can use it again if you wrap it up like in a baggie or something like that. And um, if you have another project that you know that you're gonna have to strip, then I would say go ahead and use it again. But usually it's kind of like a one and done thing with this product. So uh, it has been sitting more than 24 hours under the saran wrap. Um, so now we're just gonna take that saran wrap off and we are gonna get a look look-see of what I got going on underneath here. 
it really it looks pretty gross. It looks like um bacon grease. That's the only way I can describe it. There's the saran wrap there. It's got all the gooeyness on it. And I got some old rags here that I'm gonna be placing on the ground as I take my scraper, which I had somewhere. Don't we all do this? We're like, I did have the tool somewhere. Here it is, it's over here on the windowsill. Oh yeah. All right, so we are gonna try and scrape this off and see if this worked any better. Putting this, oh my gosh, what a world of difference. Okay, yep. This is a great method. Look right there. That's on just a little bit. See all that? That's all the finish. All right, I'm gonna give this method two thumbs up. Wow. What a difference. Yeah, that's coming right up real easily. Here we go. All right, guys, I'm gonna do a time-lapse video of me scraping this board, getting the finish off and we'll see how this goes. Okay, I just decided to do a real-time video instead of a time-lapse, so here we go. I can do two things at once, right guys? Of course I can. So you can see here, it's just easily sliding and lifting off. Look at that, pretty gross. This is why I told you this is not my favorite thing to do. It is time consuming and it is very messy. But I really wanna place this board on top of that sewing machine base over there. So it's the perfect size, perfect width. And so I really need to get the finish off. It was one of those, you know, like really nasty orange finish on it. So after I strip this, what I'll end up doing is sanding it once I get all this gooey stuff off and then staining it a really nice pretty color. So there you can see the difference right there, how it looks. It's getting it nice and clean. like after scraping it pretty disgusting but as you can see we got the finish off now I just need to clean this up a bit before I sand it and then I will share final photos of what this board looks like all cleaned up okay everyone this is about as clean as it's gonna get for right now as you can see there's some damp spots that's what you're seeing in the wood the discoloration is just wet so i'm going to wait till it dries out and then i'm going to hit it with the sander um hey biscuit um, i think it turned out pretty well and i'm really impressed with this method so i think i'll try it again okay everyone i am done stripping that board that piece of wood um that took a long <laughs> a long time and that's why I don't like stripping furniture it's so time consuming anyways um, I stripped it down um, it looks pretty good it has some wet spots right now just where it's been saturated so I'm gonna let it dry out and then I'm gonna hit it with a sander and then hopefully it's gonna be all nice and clean and beautiful and then I can stain it and then I can attach it to that Singer sewing machine base and make a cool table out of it so thank you so much for joining me biscuit says thank you as well right buddy He's got his new little festive sweater on. We call him Biscuit Boo Bear. He has his own Instagram, go check it out. It's biscuit.boo.bear. That's why he's a little bear sweater. He's so cute, he's so cute. Okay, you guys, thank you again for joining me here at Madeline Jean Antiques and Restoration. If you are following me, thank you so much. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. There is a right button in the, there's a red button in the right, Hold on a second. Biscuit. Biscuit. Hold on. Can you... He's crawling into my back like a cat. Hold on, buddy. Okay, I'm going to take you down. Hold on. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go, boo boys. Okay, he was clawing at my neck. Um, if you haven't subscribed, like, please, please do. 
I'm all discombobulated now. Um, if you have not subscribed yet to my channel, please do. The button is in the lower right hand corner. It has been a long week. Um, I need to get some rest. I'm very tongue tied. Um, thanks again for joining me and I will see you guys again soon. Thank you.